Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand one one interesting topic that is boost converter design for power over Ethernet. Okay, so this is commonly known as POE, that is power over Ethernet. So we will understand how will you design a boost converter which will cater the requirement for the requirement for your power over ethernet okay so i will explain each blocks and at the end i will show you the output of this this boost converter i will show you what is the output of this pwm generator what is the output of this mosfet gate drive circuit and what is the inductor current what is the voltage at switch node and what is the voltage and current at at this output okay so let's get started so so guys as you might be aware of what is the specification of poe that is power over ethernet so if you see ieee requirement so this is that the voltage range is 50 volt to 57 volt at the rate of 600 milliampere current so this is our design requirement you have to design a boost converter which um, which can give the output of 50 to 57 volt at the rate of 600 milliampere okay so this is basically a requirement of poe okay so let's let's understand what is the input voltage here so you have you have your input voltage that is 24 volt and now you are going to design a boost converter which will give you this this 50 volt to 57 volt at the rate of 600 milliampere so here you can see you have your input voltage now as you might have uh, aware of the how the boost converter works so there is a supply voltage then you can see this is l1 this is called boost inverter and you can see here this is the series resistance of this l1 so i modeled by using a resistance then you can see this is switch node and a switch is connected here at the end you can see a diode d1 a capacitor c1 and load rl and you can see to drive to drive uh, a switch or mosfet i have used here mosfet gate driver so you can see this is the mosfet gate driver and i have also controlled the duty cycle the duty cycle of this mosfet gate driver okay so by controlling this v duty duty cycle of duty cycle you can control the output of this boost converter so you can see this is this is v duty which gives the the duty cycle duty ratio and this stage is called pulse width modula modulator so what is this this is basically nothing with this is pulse width modulation pulse width modulator and the output of this pulse width pwm goes to this mosfet gate driver circuit okay and you can see the supply for this mosfet gate driver is 12 volt and so you will see the the output of this mosfet gate driver will be 12 volt pwm with the you can see the frequency is here 100 kilohertz so you can see here the 100 kilohertz 12 volt right now hope you understood what is the uh, how this circuit is designed you have input you have boost inductor and you have switch connected here to drive the switch we have the gate driver and we have also the duty control pwm pulse width modulator and at the output you can see this diode and capacitor c1 and the load r1 now i'm gonna run the simulation and i will show you the different kind of waveform so let me first run the simulation and so let me show you the output of this v duty so it's a it's you can see is 550 millivolt now let me show you the output here at the pwm modulator 
so you can see the output for this pwm is 5 volt and if you further zoom it you can find how your pwm signal is here now let me show you the output as we get the mosfet gate driver so let me double click on it and you can see this kind of signal at mosfet gate driver and if you want to find out the frequency for this mosfet gate driver you can easily find what is the frequency for your boost converter and are how much frequency at what frequency you are driving your boost converter so let me connect cursor 1 and 2 again right so i will mark one cursor here i am not sure where is second cursor so let me connect it here you can see the frequency for gate driver is 100 kilohertz you can see here this is 100 kilohertz okay now let me show you the voltage at switch node how your switch node looks like you can see vsw so it's starting from 0 to you can see it's a 57 volt now let me show you the inductor current so i will click on here and now you can see your inductor current which start from 0 0.6 ampere it goes to 1.2 and it all uh, you can see here from 0 to 1.2 let me run the simulation so that you can see the inductor current how what is the behavior of your inductor current okay i l1 so the inductor current is given by i l1 and you can see that is how you can see a startup current or induced current and uh, this is very high it's around 22.46 and then you can see this is the steady state current of inductor okay what is this this is the steady state current of inductor you can see the, here here we can see the inductor current here you can see the input voltage so let me show you the input voltage let me change the color for input voltage so it's in red color and you can see your input volt it, your input is exactly 24 volt okay and you can see your inductor current here so that is how your inductor current looks like right now let me show you the output voltage so i will double click on it so this is i will run the simulation again and i will double click on it and you can see the output voltage is building up and at the same time let me show you the load current so maybe i will change the color for load current and it's in red color now you can see what is the your output voltage and what is your load current so you can see here your output voltage is now it's not perfectly run the simulation let me run it again and let me show you the output voltage so i will click on here let me see if it is building up okay so it's still not completely done your simulation is running and it's a 54 volt let me show you the current here okay so let me change the current color for current and you can see here at some point it is getting stable and you can see the the voltage at this point is 54 volt and you can see you can see your simulation is still running now you can see the beta wave form so this is the v out output voltage so you can see your output voltage is 54 volt and you can see here this is uh, in this axis you can see the output voltage and in this axis you can see the output current so you can see your current is 580 581 okay you can see your current is 581 and your your output voltage is 54 volt so what you can see here your output of this this boost converter is 54 volt at the rate of 580 milliampere current right